Hey guys, it's Jeff from Smart Home Makers. Today, I'm gonna to set a 30 minute challenge for myself. I've got 30 minutes to actually get Open Hub installed, up and running, maybe with some sort of automation. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm not gonna get anything installed in 30 minutes. We'll see. I think it's better to get on with it. Let's get started. <music> Okay, so first thing, I've gone to the website, Open Hub, I just Googled it, and I'm here. So what I'm gonna do straight away, I'm just gonna go into it, I'm just gonna download, and operating system Mac, so I'm just gonna download my Mac, I'm gonna go for the stable version 3.0. So the goal of this actual whole exercise is to see from someone that really starts from scratch, how difficult are these systems actually get going. So we need Java, 11, not sure if I do have it. So recent version, uh, I'm gonna try and see if we need to get Java installed. Okay, so I'm gonna download Java, uh, download the DMG image, to so get that one sorted first. We've got around 27 minutes left. Let's see how this goes and install Java. Okay, so I've got the wrong version. I got the version for ARM. I should have got the version for Intel. It's quite scary. We need got five minutes and we've gone by. And literally, don't know from where I've got. I just downloaded the software. I'm not installing Java now. Hopefully, we don't need a reboot. Okay, nice. So that's all sorted. So we need to go to System Preferences, Keyboards, shortcut, Shortcuts, and check the New Terminal at Folder option on the services. So using Finder, find the folder with the extracted runtime. Look into the download folder, then open its context menu, and then select new terminal app folder. Okay, so we're here, new terminal app folder. Okay, so we've got terminal open now. We've got full screen. So we need to run this command now. So it's dot start dot sh in a terminal. Okay, so we're just gonna copy it in, and let's run it. So we're la launching the open, open hub runtime. Okay. It looks like it's running. So navigate with a browser to HTTP local host 8080. Okay. Aha. So we've got our screen. We are, we've got 22 minutes and 48 seconds left to go. So we need to create a administrator account to continue. So my username, we're gonna put it as smart home makers. Language, English, region, United Kingdom, GMT. So we're gonna begin the setup. So the location. So I'm just gonna skip this just because of the purpose of the video. So I'm gonna configure in settings later. Most of an open hands functionality provided by add-ons. Choose which add-ons you'd like to install right away. Okay, so these are the this is the equivalent of integrations, I think, in Home Assistant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select add-ons add-ons to install. Hue binding or hue emulation. Hmm. Hue binding, hue emulation. Not sure what the difference is, is between binding and emulation. Okay, so I like this uh, integration. Integration happens through the hue bridge, which acts, acts as the IP gateway to Zigbee devices. Yeah, so we do have a bridge, which is upstairs. I wonder if we're gonna need to go on upstairs and press something. So I'm gonna select it. I'm also gonna select IFX. Try and maybe gonna select Sonos. I wonder if we have Tado. Ah, we have Tado. So it says to optimize system resources still only the add-ons you need. It's only add-ons can take a while. Be patient and stay on the page until the operation finishes. Okay, so we've got that. Install add-ons. We've got 20, we're under 20 minutes now. Okay, so welcome to OpenHAM. Overview page not configured yet. Okay, so at this stage, I'm probably a bit lost. So what I normally do is when I actually install something, I just start clicking randomly, trying to find out where I can see something. So I'm looking at settings, um, things. There are no things yet. Okay, let me look at the inbox. Okay, so I can see we've got five entries. LifeX, Philips Hue Bridge. Yeah, I like this. It's find the bridge, 192.168.1.40. It's got my free Sonos speakers. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's got, and it's in, found the LifeX mini color. So this is all looking good. I can add as a thing, if I click on it, all right. And we're gonna give it a call, we're gonna give it a name, LifeX Bulb. Okay, and there's a thing, we've got pages. Okay, so I think the pages, this could be our dashboard. So overview label, add block, add row, add column. 
Okay. So let's do get a uh, maybe a toggle card. Okay. Doing something, but I'm not entirely sure what this. Uh, how do you actually get something in there? It's not. It's not pre-filtering with anything. Even if I think I've added things. Okay, so we're halfway through the challenge. I think at this stage, I'm, I'm quite happy. We've got it uh, downloaded and installed. I don't know if anything is working. I can see it's managed to connect to a couple of the integrations that I set it. And now I'm gonna actually try and spend maybe five minutes on the tutorials to see what I can learn. So that actually maybe can try and build something useful. My goal, if I can at least get to turn on, turn off something, that won't be that bad. Back on the homepage, let's go on tutorial. And let's just, um, let me do some reading. Okay, so I'm reading the tutorial and actually says, it assumes that you have at least a basic understanding of the concepts of OpenHAB, which I don't. I already have a working installation of OpenHAB, but I do have a work, I think I have a working installation of OpenHAB. So I will read this. So they're talking about file-based versus UI-driven configuration. So it seems that you need to pick early on which one you're gonna go for at the beginning. I'm happy to go for the UI and we have very limited amount of time. Okay, so you actually have some pros and cons for the actual file base, file base versus, versus UI, which I'm probably gonna skip. First steps, initial configuration. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. Okay, so these are like screenshots of what we just did. So create the admin user, yeah, I've done that. Geographic information, starting add-ons, yes. So we've got to basically this point here. So logging into the dashboard, you could change users in the console. Okay, but we're gonna continue with admin. We're going to installing things. Okay, so binding is an add-on. Understands how to communicate with a specific home automation technology or API. Okay, a thing represents a single device. Okay, so I think we've got a similar example to what I'm trying to achieve. So some technology requires special type of thing called a bridge. Yeah, so our fit to is a bridge. Bridge is a device of connection through which OpenHAB connects to the other devices. For example, in this tutorial, light bulbs are accessed through a hub device. A hub device is represented by a bridge thing. Ah, fantastic. So we've got the Philips Hue light bulb scenario. Okay, I'm lucky then. To an official Hue bridge. In this case, the Hue binding supports auto discovery. Yeah, we're under 10 minutes now. So if we can cooking, I'm getting somewhere. Let's see, see if we can get it sorted. Go to settings, things. Plus button, I think we've got that covered here. Q binding, ah, fantastic. So we've got stuff here. So we've got the bridge, color, temperature, light, mm. well, which one is which? So I can see there's stuff that's been discovered. Add as a thing, yeah. Error in the config, okay, hold on. Not authenticated, not authenticated. Press pairing button. Okay, so we need to go and press the pattern button. Okay, so rush upstairs, tap the uh, button. We've got six minutes and a half left, but I can see we've got good news. We've got green online, so now it's authenticated. Okay, guys, we're on five minutes, five minutes left in a 30 minute hue play. I can see it when I add as a thing immediately. Yeah. Okay, entity approved. That's done. Just want to get to turn it on. Okay, so I can see the thing. We've got some properties here. Mm, we've got pages, layout page, add to the add masonry, label, configure widget. Can we, how do we add in something on it? Ah, it's annoying. Okay, we've got a minute and a half. It's not looking good. So I'm just gotta go result to Google. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Ah, it's a pity. No clue. Items, hold on, what's an item? Add item. Uh, huh. Switch contact. Gosh, two seconds. We're done. Oh, wrapping up. 30 minutes have gone by. It won't be 30 minutes for you guys. Probably another half an hour would have got somewhere. You're gonna have to read the documentation properly. Perhaps maybe watch a few YouTube videos to get up and running. Now, if you enjoy this type of video and you want to actually want to see me go into more detail with OpenHAB and actually make a thorough review of OpenHAB versus Home Assistant and what are the differences, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to check out my Home Assistant playlist, I'm going to leave it here. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Stay safe and see you in the next one.